ally says, your, your ally is sticking to their guns, saying that Sharad Pawar's nazariya is different. And he said, you should have raised issues that matter to the public. Rahul Gandhi had made this the super important issue. The only important issue is taking it to the polls. He's taking it to 2024. I'm asking you, sir, is Mr. Pawar today suborned in some way? I'm asking you. Or by saying no. this, he has completely deflated Rahul Gandhi's focus and the opposition's focus, saying that you guys wasted the nation's money by doing this. Uh, Rahul, if I'm not interrupted, I would like to give a quick response to your question and what somebody else spoke earlier. You know, very selective cherry picking, quoting Credit Suisse, which, by the way, forget even that, if sir, it has answer the question. Problems, Sanjay Jha, forget I answer, that. You, you, you know, Rahul, it's not fair, you know, that you allow the BJP spokesperson an uninterrupted schedule I don't without mind directing that, her how to answer. Answer the question no, on power. Okay, fine. You no, know, listen, give go me ahead, my go freedom ahead. of expression. Go ahead. No, no, no fair enough. Part. Fair enough, sir. Go yeah. ahead. Take your time. Go ahead. Yeah. So, Rahul, in simple terms, yeah. Credit Suisse, whether it goes bankrupt or whether it's sold, it doesn't matter. It had a view on the, on the entire assets of the Adani group. And by the way, why are we forgetting Standard Chartered? Why are we forgetting Citibank that actually considered the Adani bonds as junk bonds? So let's not do any selective cherry picking here. The larger point, Rahul Gandhi and the opposition, and I'm assuming that includes Mr. Sharad Pawar, understand that no businessman can actually grow in any part of the world in terms of his net wealth from 4.5 billion in 2014 to 150 billion in 2022. And by the way, in 2021, it was 76 billion. In 2020, he was 11 billion. And in two years, he became 150 billion. Now, the fundamental issues that the Congress is asking is, by the way, who owns the tax havens? Number two, how did he get so many contracts for airports, Mumbai airport, etc., where many assets have gone to Mr. Adani when entities were tax raided? I mean, it's been so brazen and blatant. Whether you're a supporter of Mr. Modi or not, everyone should be worried in this country. This is plutocracy. This is crony capitalism. Okay, you haven't still answered I the question. I want to quickly come in. Now, at least, Rahul, Sanju, one minute, one minute. Sanju Aman, please, Last one second. There are other people also. Last Let. Now, Sanjay Jha, you still haven't answered the question. I've heard all of this. Mr. Pawar has come out and said the following things. The question is that people you are targeting, if they have done something wrong, misuse their powers, then in a democracy you have a right to speak against them 100%. But to attack without anything meaningful, this I cannot understand. Today, Ambani has contributed in the petrochemical sector. Does the country not need it? In the field of electricity, Adani has contributed. Does the country not need electricity? These are people who take up such responsibility and work in the name of the country. If they have done wrong, you attack. But they have created this infrastructure to criticize them does not feel right to me. I mean, he has gone to such lengths. And Sanjay Jha, you are giving me a debate. No, no, I mean, you're giving me a response Rahul, on I'm some... answer your question. No, no, yeah, I'm I can't not... wait for 10, 10 minutes. I have other stuff also no, no, to no, do. No, get to I the point. To Doctor, quickly, one second. Rahul. Dr. Ranganathan, on, let on me come... Mr. No, let me... Let please, me don't... You, you know, this kind of filibustering that happens you. night after night, Sanjay Jha, with you, I'm it's tiring. You. you know, one second. It's tiring to the viewer. They all laugh. They all say that, listen, the guy never gets to the point. One minute. Dr. Ranganathan.